Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be looking at number 83 of the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time, Norm Van Brocklin. Without further ado, let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... head coach Buck Shaw wanted a veteran quarterback and Norm Van Brocken was coming an all-pro quarterback. I knew nothing about him except, you know, it, what he had done with the Rams. Norm Van Brocken drops back, throws an arching pass upfield. Reggie Tom Pierce gathers it in on the dead run and races all the way to score for Los Angeles. A 72-yard touchdown play. During nine seasons in Los Angeles, the jump pass. Van Brocklin led the Rams to an NFL championship and was twice the league's top-rated passer. Fifty-one. Van Brocklin passed for a record 554 yards in a single game. What? A half century later, the record still stands. Holy shit! The mercurial duck. Hang on. Let's check that. Let's check that record. Which quarterback is the most passing yards in a game? Norm Van Brocklin, 554. 527. Matt Sharb, Warren Moon. 5.22, Ben Roethlisberger and Boomer Isaison. 5.21, Dan Marino. 5.20, Matthew Stafford. And 5.17, Tom Brady. Ha! Huh. Well, what a legend. He's got a record. Ashes with Pretty decent record. Resulted in a trade to Philadelphia, where in 1960, Van Brocklin engineered an Eagles resurgence. Eagles, fearless, pigskin pitcher is red hot, and so are the rest of the Eagles. In practice, I was like a little gnat. I just stood behind the huddle when he was calling plays. And I would listen to his play, and I'd call the same play that he had called in the huddle. And where he's executed it, I couldn't execute it. <laughs> he knew where to throw the ball. He knew when to throw the ball, how to throw the ball. Learn touch from him. When we would have scrimmages, he would not scrimmage. He'd say, oh, put the kid in. <laughs> I'd be in there as a young quarterback, and the rush is coming. I'd start trying to get out of there and, and run with the football. And he would stand back there and scream and holler at me, Stay in there! You stay in there! Don't you come out of there! <laughs> over and over again. He had a temper. Without question, he had a temper. He wanted it done the right way, and he didn't like people screwing around in practice. He was tough, but fair, and, and, and a smart, smart football player. And I did learn how to play position of quarterback from Norman Brockman. After we won it in 60, Buck Shaw retired. They made Van Brocken the coach, but he got fired before the season started because he was making changes in the organization. So they let him go. And I always wondered what it was going to be like to have had Norm Van Brocken as a head coach. Hey, Wages, where'd you go on the pitch? Ah, uh, Wages, what's the <laughs> Go back in the game until I tell you to. Understand, Harmon? In the big leagues now. You understand? Well, let's go start growing up. You line up where you're supposed to line up. None of that hairy high school fake this. Do what we're told. Oh, so you can't great. play football in the NFL, you can't play football for me. Head <laughs> coach, Van Brocklin's fiery temperament was a liability. Fuck, how many years did he coach for? Norman Van Brocklin. Nicknamed the Dutchman. Huh. He, he passed away May 2nd, 1983, unfortunately, at age 57. It's not old, is it? So he played for the Rams from 49 to 57 and the Eagles from 58 to 60. Then he went as a coach for the Vikings from 61 to 66 and the Falcons from 68 to, six, to 74. And he passed away in 83. 
So his his life was his life was football. A player, his intensity made him a leader like no other. The fabulous Dutchman Norm Van Brocklin earned the league's most valuable player award for his role in the Eagles' fight to victory. With the Dutchman leading the way, the upstart Eagles became world champions. The game's outstanding player award goes to Norm Van Brocklin. <laughs> Norm Van Brocklin is the, the snow. only man in history to quarterback two different teams to an NFL championship. There you go. That's another crazy record. Well, guys, that was my first look at Norm Van Brocklin. Uh, sadly, passed away about 30 years ago, 35 years ago, but um, he's forever member remembered in the history books. He's got records. <laughs> And um, that's what that's what I love about sport, man. I love I love old school, um, you know, stories and and the footage and you know record books, man. I remember when I was ten years old, my auntie took me to a bookshop. She said, "Choose choose whatever book you want." This was the year of well, I think it was the year after. No, it must have been 1999. It must have been like eight or nine. She said, Wh "Whatever book you want," and I chose. <laughs> I chose a sports history book about the All Blacks and it had every single test match they'd played and every stat of every match, every try, you know, every record, every All Blacks record I, and it, it was basically a book of just scores and people's names and numbers but I went through it like a hawk man, I, I read it and read it and read it and I can't tell you what I read because I can't really remember now but back then man, that was all I was interested in. Records, sports history, the All Blacks, the All Blacks, man. I love rugby. I now, you know, am am starting to love football, but nothing will ever compare to those times as a kid, where you were just so passionate. You had no responsibilities, you know. Those times I'll never forget. So if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.